What's up, guys? Omen. Got for you a rant that I want to talk about. And this rant has to do with the bullshit that goes on on Black Ops 2. You ever just get in a match by yourself because no one's on? Obviously, no one likes playing this game because none of my friends are ever on when they're playing or they're doing something else. But you ever get in a match, start off good, and this bullshit happens to you? I'm pretty sure it's happened to a lot of you. But what about when you see shit like this? What the fuck are they doing? Why would you put a claymore up there? Why? What are you doing? How are you helping the team win the match? Look at the score already. Now, I, I keep going because it's like, fuck it, what else can you do? I can exit the fucking lobby, get another lobby, and be in the same damn situation. Shitty ass teammates. Idiots that don't know what the fuck they're doing. Idiots. Just. Just idiots everywhere. Look. How the fuck did I die there? I could have sworn. Look, he was red. He should have died. It's bullshit like this. Now, I got a phone call here. Well, right here pretty soon you'll see. Actually, my phone was ringing. I was deciding if I should pick it up or not. I get the kill. I said, fuck it. I'm going to pick up the damn phone. So, come chill here. All my teammates, from what I see, are over here. And then look. Three motherfuckers spawn right on top of me. Are you fucking serious? This game is fucking bullshit. The spawns are fucked up. Hit detection is fucked up. The players that play this fucking game are fucked up and stupid. It... it boggles my fucking mind that someone would play this game and play like this and it boggles my, my mind that people still support Call of Duty in general anyone that says Call of Duty is a, or Black Ops 2 is a great game is fucking stupid fucking stupid seriously I just I don't know what to say about this fucking game anymore Look, shot from behind. Really? Okay, so now I'm dying. I was doing good, and now check this shit out. See him last minute. Yeah, I saw you creeping in the fucking shadows, man. Yeah, you sure fucking aimed down the sight pretty quick with that one. Now check this shit out. Again. Barely spawned. Couldn't even get out of my spawn. Because there was a guy there. Now check this shit out. Idiot teammates what is he doing checking out the scenery you sightseeing on a fucking video game what the fuck are you doing and you jump off and then look your stupid friend follows you what the fuck is going on in this game look at their scores obviously not doing shit but fucking around on the damn game not helping the team go in fucking custom matches and do that shit don't come in a fucking lobby and do it boom dead again you can't win. You can't win in this fucking game. Fuck this shit. I'm out, as you can see. This is the bullshit that goes on in Black Ops 2. And you probably wonder why I still play this shit. I'll give you reasons why I play it still. I got friends that play this game still because their friends play this game. Who's Their friends play this game and, the list, and it keeps going down the line. People like playing this game for some reason. And I like playing with my friends when it comes to gaming. That's why I still play Black Ops 2. Another reason? I'm on YouTube. I don't make money off YouTube. I do it for fun. I like putting videos out there. I like commentating. I like doing all that. Still trying to find my thing on here. But that's all in due time. Black Ops 2 has pretty much just driven the Call of Duty franchise six feet underground. How Ghost is going to survive all depends on what they do with the game. And I really don't see much innovation coming from Ghost except better graphics, faster processing power because of the systems it's going to be on. But it's coming out for current gen systems also, so how much more better can it get, right? Call of Duty's done. You got games like Titanfall, Destiny, The Division, 
and especially Battlefield 4. How would you expect Call of Duty to survive? It's going to because Call of Duty is pretty much a bandwagon a bandwagon franchise now. It's like the, the next Super Bowl team from previous years or whatever. Team wins, people jump on the bandwagon and vote and root for that team. Same thing with Call of Duty. You got all these little scrub kids getting on here playing this game because it's the cool thing to do to play Call of Duty. And it's sad that to be on YouTube and to get views and all that, you almost have to play Call of Duty if you're going into it for gaming, what I mean, you know. But why people like to watch this shit, I don't know. I mean, if I'm going to watch some Call of Duty gameplay, I want to watch real shit, not fake 200 plus gameplays that assholes like Jay Nasty or whatever motherfuckers are out there adding these 200 plus gameplay videos get the fuck out of here with that shit that ain't the real call of duty that is not the real call of duty i play solo most of the time and the best i've done is top 70 kills by myself and that's playing games like ground war objective based games getting my my score streaks it's it's bullshit call of duty's done and i'm pretty much done ranting about it what i mean what else can you say about this fucking game there's nothing else to say. The game, the game sucks. Second topic has to do with my boy Hollow Point. He posted a video earlier, and it was pretty much about people on YouTube leaving comments that are, well, negative comments, trolling comments, whatever you want to call them. There's one thing to troll, and there's one thing to express your opinion, okay? The person he exposed did neither of those. He just was a flat out asshole, and his comment was pretty much, hey, I hope you die in the military one day, or some shit like that. Really, dude? I really hope you're not in America, or an American citizen saying that shit. Oh, I really hope any military personnel in your country doesn't hear that shit. Because trust me, they'll chop your head off. And I kind of hope someone does do that to you. Because to, to put a comment like that on someone's channel. On someone who's just pretty much doing it for fun. Who's, who's putting themselves out there to you in a personal way. And for you to come on there and leave a comment like that is just fucking ignorant. You obviously don't know a thing about karma. And I'm not going to explain it to you because you're obviously a fucking idiot. So what's the point of explaining it to you? I'd rather you just find out by yourself. And I really do hope karma bites you in the ass in the most worst possible way it can. So you can fuck off with that comment. All you are is just a little faggot behind a keyboard. You wouldn't have the balls to say that in front of anyone's face. Trust me, I know you wouldn't. I dare you to say that in front of my face, and I'm not even in the military. I dare you. Triple dare you. But you won't do it, because you're a fucking pussy. This negativity on YouTube needs to stop. I mean, I can understand trolling, I can understand expressing your opinion, but just to say bullshit like that, man, is not cool. Not cool at all. I mean, I troll here and there on Facebook or whatever, but not once have I wished harm on anyone like that. I may joke about it sometimes, but at least the person I'm telling it to knows I'm joking. I don't just go to someone who's trying to be true to you and showing their true personality and their true selves and you, for, and you to come around and just put them down like that. It's not even putting them down. It's just bullshit, man. So quit the nonsense. Stop being a faggot. And watch your back for karma. Because it will bite you in the ass. Hollow Point, you know I got your back. And that goes for the same. That goes the same for any of my friends. JD, Matt Murder, Soldier. All you guys. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.